A Mountie in New Brunswick says he has the right to smoke pot on the job. And right now, he says the RCMP can't stop him. The officer suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder, and earlier this month, he was prescribed three grams of medical marijuana per day to treat it. Evan Dyer has his story. I learned that marijuana buds have crystals on them. This case really poses a dilemma for the RCMP because legally they're required to treat this like any other medical prescription. They have a duty to accommodate and that means that they have to let the member basically take their medication uh, during their working day as prescribed. Uh, but of course marijuana is not like any other medication and the RCMP is very concerned about the, the optics of an RCMP member, a Mountie, smoking a joint. Uh, and so they want to put down some pretty clear limits about when and where a member like Juan Francis can do this. This is Deputy Commissioner Gilles Moreau. Definitely a member uh, that has been prescribed medicinal marijuana should not be in Red Surge uh, taking his medication. Uh, it would not be uh, advisable for that member. It would not portray the right uh, message uh, to the general public. Uh, it's definitely not something that we would support or condone. But that's exactly what Corporal Francis is doing. Uh, let's roll a little bit of this home video. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty shaky and out of focus, but it very clearly shows Corporal Francis outside in public uh, smoking marijuana in uniform. Uh, and he says he has every right to smoke his medication wherever and whenever, and the RCMP has no rules on the books to prevent him from doing that. And when I explored it as a treatment for my PTSD, um, I had to, to really make a moral decision because the RCMP and the law enforcement seems so anti-marijuana, uh, so that's a hard thing to overcome. Um, so I had to make that decision for my own, my own health. And this is a dilemma that's likely to come up again in the future. CBC News has learned that there are at least two other RCMP members who've also obtained uh, marijuana prescriptions. And so the force is now scrambling to come up with a policy to deal with them. Corporal Ron Evan Francis has News. 21 years Ottawa. service under his belt. And in that time, he's seen plenty of death and plenty of tragedy. I still am plagued uh, by flashbacks to this day uh, of wiping brains from my boot every time I see a black doormat. Uh, that's called a trigger. Francis also spent time in the Labrador community of Davis Inlet, where children were filmed sniffing gas. The work took its toll, and he was eventually diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. RCMP didn't provide the treatment uh, for PTSD, and I, and I thank the RCMP for that. But Francis says he didn't find the treatment that helpful, so he went to his own physician, who earlier this month gave him a prescription for three grams of marijuana a day, about nine to 15 joints. And the, the treatment works very well. Uh, keeps me very uh, on a level, uh, allows me to concentrate. Um, so uh, it works very well for me. The RCMP says it's okay with an officer using medical marijuana while on duty, but it reserves the right to limit an officer's functions, such as driving a car or carrying a gun. Francis is already on administrative duty, but the RCMP remains very concerned about the optics. Definitely a member uh, that has been prescribed medicinal marijuana should not be in Red Surge uh, taking his medication. Uh, it would not be uh, advisable for that member. It would not portray the right uh, message uh, to the general public. Uh, it's definitely not something that we would uh, support or condone. But as this home video shows, it is something that Francis has done. There is no policy that prevents me as a member of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police from smoking marijuana. I do have the legal right to, to smoke it in my Red Surge. That is not a conduct that is becoming uh, a, a person who wears that uniform. Uh, while he's in uniform, while he's on duty, uh, he should not be doing that. <laughs> Tonight, the RCMP moved to make sure it wouldn't happen again. Officers visited Francis at home in New Brunswick and took away his uniforms. It was hard. Uh, you know, I, I broke down crying. Um, I, I was in a ball. You know, my sister had to come down. Uh, and console me. The Mounties missed the one uniform that the RCMP wanted most. Francis's iconic red surge was at his girlfriend's house, but he's been ordered in writing to hand it in by noon tomorrow. Evan Dyer, CBC News, Ottawa.